This is Joshua Adigo once again. Welcome to my YouTube channel, AJ Tech House. I am a Microsoft certified trainer. On today's agenda, I would um, talk about the Microsoft 365 tenant to tenant migration license requirements. Right? So before now, we, we, we it was not possible for you to carry out a tenant to tenant migration. That is, migrating from one Microsoft 365 tenant to another Microsoft 365 tenant. However, now it is very much possible. Um, this feature was released um, last year, 2022, around November. And then you can migrate um, exchange mailboxes um, yeah, between a um, hybrid tenant or a cloud-only tenant to um, another Microsoft 365 tenant, which is either my a hybrid um, tenant or a cloud only um, tenant. So without wasting much time, I would um, share my screen so that um, we could look at one or two things together. So um, in the tenant to tenant migration, right, we have um, different architectures based on business um, scenarios. We have different business scenarios. Um, for example, we have the ISO, the business unit and brand identity. There is an ar architectural scenario for that. Mm. And then we also have the ISO, the business unit and the business unit will adopt a target component branding. There is also a business scenario for that, right? And then we have the cloud tenant move. Um, yeah, the architectural scenario for the cloud tenant move, which um, talks about you need to split users across two tenants. Your company cannot use the registered.microsoft.com um, domain, the default domain, or you're moving from a commercial tenant to a Microsoft cloud for um, government. So there are different architectural scenarios for all these business scenarios, right? And then you also have architectural approaches for these um, scenarios that can help you carry out a tenant to tenant migration. And then we also have um, the current tenant to tenant workload migration capabilities where um, you see some services that can be migrated, that can be fully migrated or some services that are partially migrated. As you can see for Microsoft 365 apps, yeah, you can fully migrate them. Same also for Exchange mailboxes, same thing for Exchange public folders, SharePoint sites, OneDrive folders. However, for Teams, you can only partially migrate Teams and, and Yama, yeah, and also Azure information protection. Yeah, you can you can partially migrate those. However, for streams, for flow, for power apps and power BI, you cannot migrate at all. And then you can migrate migrate for Windows 10 subscription ac activation license and then for Intune um, licenses, right? So talking about um, the tenant tenant migration, right? You need a specific license for you to be um, able to carry out um, this tenant to tenant migration. Yeah, if you're using um, the Microsoft 365 Business Basic, Standard, Premium, or any of the F1, F3, E5, um, E3, um, Office 365, F3, E1, E3, E5, or even Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, or OneDrive for Business, you will need the Microsoft. Um, you you will need yeah for you will need these licenses for you to be able to carry out um, a cross tenant user data migration. So from here, it tells you that even if you have the Microsoft 365 F1 or F3 or E3 or E5, these are the Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 are enterprise licenses. So even if you still have those, you still need to get the cross tenant user data migration add-on. And how do you get this add-on? This is not available to your normal um, Microsoft 365 tenant. And as you can see here, right, 
for you to be able to use this future, you need to have the enterprise agreement. You must be an enterprise agreement customer. And then for your information, enterprise agreement customers are customers that purchase their licenses via the volume license. So EA, which is enterprise agreement, is equal to volume licenses. So it's only customers that purchase their licenses. Any of these highlighted um, licenses here or subscriptions here, right? Um, through the volume licensing portal, right? Are the ones that are able to see the cross tenant user data migration add on. Yeah. So, um, and then this volume licenses or volume licensing um, add on, right, can also be gotten or is gotten from a partner. So you have to reach out to the partner and then see how you can get this. Um, thank you very much for your time. Uh, keep watching my channel, share this video with anyone that um, you know requires this video and then subscribe to my channel, like the video and then um, turn on the notification um, um, notification basically so that you can be notified of all my future videos. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.